take a minute. Hey, what's up, YouTube? <clears throat> SneakerTube.tv. It's your man Air Jordan 14 back with a uh, performance review. I want to wish everybody again a happy cement day and hope that everybody that was able to, uh, that wanted the cements was able to get them. You saw my earlier video, you know, I did say I went to the gym and played. Uh, and some shoes and uh, then I was going to do a performance review and those shoes that I played in was the Zoom Kobe 6 and uh, if you saw my earlier my performance review of the Kobe 5 then you know uh, how happy and pleased I was with with that shoe and how much I've enjoyed playing in them and I was really excited to get these, uh, not only because I like them aesthetically, but I really wanted to get a chance to uh, see how they played on the court. And I can tell you, I was not disappointed. Um, let's just let's just get right into it. Um, obviously, as you can see, the uh, we'll start with the Kobe for them lowering. The collar height or, or being, you know, what's kind of known as a low top shoe continues. Because um, when I wore these, you know, a lot of people would come up and be like, man, I don't see how you, you play in a low top. Because I've, I've never worn ankle braces, even playing in, uh, you know, the, the Kobe series as well as the, you saw my review in the Hypernut Lows. Um, and, you know, it they've done experiments and it's been proven that that collar height really has actually very little to do with a shoe's ability to prevent ankle injury because um, you could be wearing like I said you know some Air Force Five if you land on someone's foot it's gonna roll over so um, I was <clears throat> I wasn't concerned about that it's just this is just a flat out excellent performance footwear and uh, here's why I'm gonna start uh, with the fit um, I love the the fit of the Kobe 5 and with this um, that tradition has been continued um, on the inner the things I like there's no seams that uh you know, could cause you any problems. Um, Every the inner is very smooth. One of the things I I like um, is the fact that the tongue is actually integrated uh, as a part of the inner, so it almost almost forms like a a, a booty in a sense. Almost, if if you remember back to Nike's earlier shoes, the dynamic fit inner sleeve it almost puts me in the mind of that in a sense. And um, it really does a upper does a great job of of locking your foot down. And I didn't experience any, you know, front to back, side to side movement within the shoe. You know, my foot was totally uh, locked down, which is of course is very important. One if you're in a, a low top, and you know. Uh, especially if you're in a lightweight shoe and because of the upper here which I'm gonna zoom in okay as you can see it's like a, a cloth like and then you've got uh, the the snakeskin upper but if you have a pair I don't know if it'll it'll show up if I can hit the light you can see there's fly wire in the upper but it's very uh, deceptively hidden uh, underneath the scales here and that fly wire uh, one does a, the job of supporting your foot but also uh, it cuts it out on the weight so the the fit is great and the upper definitely does its job without getting in the way and adding to the weight now the fit at the heel is great thanks to uh, this external heel counter here okay and as you can see here see they've cut out 
on the medial and lateral sides not only does that help um, shave down weight but I also found to me it gave it a very natural fit at the heel um, it just did a great job of, of, of locking your heel down in place and I experienced absolutely zero heel slip uh, while wearing this shoe so the fit is excellent okay let us move down to the midsole and the cushion and it continues the same setup as its predecessor with a heel and forefoot zoom encased in a phylon midsole all of which do a great job of impact protection um, as well as cushiony feel while at the same time keeping it low profile and allowing your foot to be uh, close to the ground and the court feel uh, in, in the Kobe 6 is, is great uh, which is one of the things of course you need and, and I'm a big fan of so it was just absolutely great I didn't experience any problems um, with with bottoming out or anything you know the cushioning setup was there uh, and it could deal with anything uh, that I had to, to dish out on it. So the cushioning is great. Let's move on to the traction here, okay? Um, if you saw my uh, Kobe 5 review, that was my one, uh, I guess if you wanted to call it a gripe, uh, complaint about the shoe, was the traction was the one uh, detraction on the shoe and when I saw when I saw this, this snake skin like pattern I was like oh boy here we go again because uh, you know that, that heartbeat uh, heart monitor traction deal they did on the fives was it was alright but it wasn't great so I approached this with some trepidation and excuse me and I can tell you that uh, my fears, my concerns were totally unfounded once I got on the court. Um, the six shows a market improvement in the area of, of traction over the fives, which was actually a pleasant surprise. I, as a matter of fact, the entire time I was playing, I never found myself having to, to wipe my, my shoes or anything. You know, I didn't experience any slide or, you know, playing D or any. Uh, lateral cuts or anything um, and let me say that like on the the five and you, you'll see on a lot of shoes here they've got this hopefully I can this lateral outrigger here keeps the shoe from tipping over and I didn't experience any tip over um, the one time was more or less um, my own clumsiness uh, and I made I made a stop and the shoe actually I mean it stopped me but I'm clumsy a little bit um, you know I'm dealing with some knee problems and because of uh, that I almost fell over on my own but it wasn't anything um, as far as the shoe tipping over traction was amazing uh, in this shoe and if that was a concern of yours in the Kobe 5, they, the, the team has done a, a great job. Um, the support around the, the midfoot and underfoot are, excuse me, is excellent thanks to, you know, the support shank. So if you have any, any problems or if that's a concern, I can assure you don't have to worry about that. Um, I have to be honest. Uh, as much as I enjoy playing in the Kobe 5, um, I think they've actually done, uh, they've even improved upon that uh, on the 6, which I didn't, I didn't think was possible. I immensely enjoy playing in these, and I can't find anything wrong with the, the shoe at this point. Um, it's lightweight, like I said. There's great fit support traction everything is on point I would definitely uh, recommend these for uh, 
you know, your smaller, quicker guards. Uh, excuse me. Perhaps even agile big men, fours and fives, uh, may be able to even, uh, you know, try these out as, as well. Um, just just overall a, a, a great job. Eric Avar and the guys in the Innovative Kitchen have really hit a home run with this shoe. And I highly recommend it. You know, picking up a pair and taking them out to the court. They wear very well. Uh, I tested these out for quite a while. And, and as you can see, I'll hold it up. They hold up very well to wear. Okay? I mean, I don't weigh a lot, but, uh, you know, these can go back into the straight rocking pile if I want to. And they probably will. Um, so overall, just an excellent shoe. I give it, I give it an A plus uh, all the way around. It's it's a wonderful shoe. It does everything that you need it to do. Um, oh, before I forget, um, heat dissipation is not a problem in this shoe as far as heat buildup. One because of the nature of the upper, uh, with it not being uh, a closed material and then the tongue here which uh which I'm assuming I've heard was actually Nike torch and not Nike sphere um but be that as it may it does a it's very breathable and it does a great job of uh dissipating heat so if that's a concern for you um if you've experienced that in other shoes you won't in these so in concluding my review I just have to say uh, I just wanted to give you one last shot of the shoe there Kobe 6 an absolute home run and uh, it's truly representative of the best player in the association yes I said it <laughs> but uh, great shoe again um, if you can pick up a pair I would say go for it. It's definitely going to give you the most bang for your buck and uh, one of the best, already one of the best uh, performance shoes of 2011. So thank every thank you for taking the time out to watch uh, this video and my other ones. I really appreciate. It. I really do. Um, thank everybody that's been watching and commenting on the review. I'm glad. Uh, the people who like them, that you like them. I hope, particularly uh, my performance reviews, that you're finding them informative um, and helpful. And if you play in any of the shoes that I review, um, you know, please comment or hit me up with your experience uh, in them or anything, you know, questions that you have. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll gladly answer them. Thing we can do to make these these videos as good as we can you know the feedback is always well so I appreciate that again there's always much respect to everybody that watches I do appreciate it so I'm gonna go ahead and close the, the lid on this review um, and appreciate you taking the time to watch um, thank you again you know everybody's getting ready to go watch this NFC title game so and get something to eat and some of you are still staring and drooling over your cements <laughs> so get back to that but uh this is air jordan 14 uh closing the lid on this review catch everybody later peace